Hello everyone, Amanda here, thanks for joining me. So, <laughs> Box of Shame episode 2. Um, I started this new series last week um, sharing things that I'm going to make out of my Box of Shame. Now my Box of Shame is uh, just basically my nickname for my Box of Scraps. These are my smaller ones. I've also got a draw of Shame as well. Um, which is a larger one but we're dealing with this one first and we're going to pretend the other doesn't exist okay now um, there's all sorts of scraps in this box some are large um, some are small but uh, I'm determined that I'm going to make something every single week out of my box of shame and share it with you so I asked on my Facebook group the link for there is in the description box below and I said what shall I make this week and uh, a number of people said envelopes so that's what we're going to make but we're going to make scrappy envelopes uh, now I've made myself a template so I want to make mini scrappy envelopes I think they'll be cute for sliding in pockets and things like this so I've created myself a template and what I'm going to do is I will redo this template um, on a sheet and I'll scan it somehow I don't know quite really what I'm doing when it comes to digital things but I'll share this template on my group so you can go and get this for free uh, there's other stuff on there for free as well in the files if you come on over and join so I can use some of my larger scraps to make the envelopes and then use some of my smaller scraps to decorate them so let's see what we can find in here we've got book page there's some digitals Let's see if I can use some of this. I wonder if that's big enough. Okay. So I might just make a couple and then... Um, what do call it? Make, you know, and then make a few off camera. That's a nice piece. Make a few off camera uh, for the thumbnail. Um, but yeah, you know, give, us a gen give you a general idea. These are nice. These aren't really scraps. These are some free papers that somebody gave me. I might make one out of that as well. What's that? That's just like writing paper. We could make one out of that, I suppose. It's leftover writing paper. Leftover envelopes. I've got all sorts in here. What's this? What's this? book page that's been gessoed on let's have that okay so I'll just move my box of shame to the side for now <laughs> and let's see what we can make so let's see if this is big enough oh yes 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 perfect so I'm going to use my template I'm going to keep it as close to the edge as I can while I draw around it and I'm just going to make myself some little envelopes so I'll make one out of a few pieces and then I will be back so I've uh, cut out all of these well when I say all of them I've done four <laughs> so if you go and get the template when it's when it's there I don't know if it'll be there as soon as this video is up or not I'm not 100% sure so there's a shorter flap and a long flap so the shorter flap is is the opening um, so you just literally fold these sides in okay it's very rough and ready because obviously I've kind of drawn it started off with a square and then just kind of drawn it so it's not going to be exact but it doesn't matter it'll add to the character <laughs> and then fold that bit up like that and uh, you should have just a little slanty kind of gap either side yeah and then that's the top that would come down about there so it's kind of a square shape um, probably about three by three or three by off I don't know let's measure it can't be bothered Let's have a look on here. So it's three by, so it's roughly three by three, but because I've hand drawn it, it's not a perfect square. So this is, because this is Amazon packaging, I'm not going to use wet, wet glue I'm going to use. 
get some EOHO glow stick, otherwise it'll just, it's quite thin so it'll just go wrinkling horrible. Okay, so that's that one. And then on the sturdier, is that right? No, I need to fold it up further. And then on the sturdier ones, you can use wet glue. I don't know what I thought I were doing then. There we go. So that's that one. Let me get my bottom folder and then I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, so that's that one because it's quite thin paper. Let's try it on this thicker paper here. So this is a printable from the Graphics Fair of this one, I think it was. Um, so, leftover. So some of the scraps are teeny tiny, little bits of, you know, what should be chucked in the bin scraps. And some scraps are slightly larger, more like offcuts, but a scrap is a scrap. It's uh, taken away from your main project that you've discarded to one side that you're not using so we're not going to debate on the size of what a scrap is <laughs> I think if we're going to get into them kind of debates we need to uh, go on holiday or something right so I could do with an holiday oh yes <laughs> so there we go so that's our kind of shape so like I said the template will be in the group Um when I figure out how to uh, get it onto some sort of file, I'll probably just draw some on an A4 sheet, scan it in and upload it for you to use. And then what I'd say is print it out on cardstock. Cut, uh, I'll put two on a paper. You'll fit two on. I'll put two on. Print it on cardstock. Make yourself a template and keep hold of it right on the small envelope and keep it to one side. Yeah. Sorted. And then whenever you've uh, got some free time, you can just make yourself some of these little cute envelopes. Okay, so that's how we're folding them. And then we're going to use some more of our scraps from our box of shame and probably some oddments. More than likely the odd butterfly or two, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, is that upside down? I'm not bothered. Don't care, it's pretty paper that. I think uh, Victoria Bunn gave me this. Um, when we did a swap. It's lovely. There we go. And then this is a scrap that I... This is a genuine book page scrap. When I've been doing my gessoing with my roller, I've rolled it off onto a book page. And there you go. I mean, you could build your envelopes, then put them in your spray box. Um, I'm not into spraying loads of things all at once because I might want to do some things in a different colour. <laughs> if I put them in my spray box and spray them all the same colour, then I'm stuck with it. Alright, there we go. So that's them. So what we might do is, you know, en masse, that one doesn't really need it. Let's get some brown. And we'll do some, maybe a bit of, um, just bring this bit of scrap card, maybe a bit of stamping. So this is where it gets fun. This is where you start doing your decorating. Let me just... Find myself a nice script stamp of some description. Let's have a look. Don't need a lot, do I? Let's have a look. Where's my tin? Ones. Oh, I don't know if I've really got a. No, I want them small. I need to get another. Another decent script one I think you know those aren't quite right for me to do it although that one's really nice isn't it this one's really nice so hold on a minute this is like a background stamp I might use that it's a uh, come free in an Inspo Blue magazine a few of you may well have this so 
let's uh, do this. I've got this bit of cardstock here if anybody's wondering to stop the um, light glaring. I don't know which way, what the direction of this is. Uh, I don't suppose it matters. Right, let's get some browning on. And um, we'll just do some. Oh, that's pretty. It's a bit floppy. <laughs> it's a floppy one. <laughs> we'll do some on the back. There we go. Oh, how nice is that? Pretty. Right, let's do a different bit. I've got this one. Do some of that. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Bit there. Didn't really do all that, did it? Let's put a bit more ink on. It's a floppy stamp. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Like that. Yeah, happy with that. That doesn't really need one. I uh, don't think that needs any stamping on it, it's pretty enough as it is, we won't, uh, we won't go overboard. Right, so that's that. So then we're going to see what we've got in our, in our stash to decorate them with. So let's have a little look, might make some little... So I found some die cuts, we've all got heaps of these, these have been gifted to me from my friend Lynn. So I could... Add some die cuts. That'd look pretty, wouldn't it? Bit of die cut on there. Let's have a look. Those are nice. They're very delicate, these. Don't know if she's got patience to cut them out. I'll probably. I think just. I think it only needs one. Um. I'm a, I'm a bit tight when it comes to die cuts. I don't want to. <laughs> don't like parting with them. <laughs> right, so we're having those on there. What we got here? Have a look at these ones she's sent me. I think these are a bit bigger. What's that? That's nice, isn't it? Put that on there. And my bear. No, it's too big. Will that go on there? I think I'll have that there and that one. I don't want to cover that butterfly up now, that's the only problem. Now we'll have it. Right. Okay, let's put these away. So I've used uh, four die cuts. <laughs> More plus that. Right, so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to dart, I'm just going to colour these. So I may well fast forward this bit now. Um, I'm going to get some, make, maybe make some little messy clusters out of this. I'm going to dye these and I've also got, I really want to use this B that I've stamped and fussy cut. And I've got uh, some other little bits of die cuts in there as well. So I'll probably fast forward this bit so that you don't uh, get bored. I might um, spray these. Mm, shall we? I might do. I'll get the spray box out. I'll be back soon. Right, so I've got this spray box out and I'm using my Tim Holtz Distress Oxides. I think it's like mossy lawn or mossy grass and like a citrus summit or other colour. I can never remember the names of them. I'm shocking. I'm ever so sorry. Um, and I just literally keep adding colour, spritzing with water until I get something I like the look of and then I will um, set it with my heat gun. Um, yeah, a nice mottled effect, just like they are in nature. So then from the box of shame, I've found some other bits and pieces that I can rip up further and make little clusters for these envelopes. That's all it is, is we've made the envelopes from the box of shame and then we're making clusters. Um, and the focus of the clusters is going to be these lovely die cuts that I've found and that I've hoarded and sprayed. So we're gluing those on. Um making a nice little corner cluster on those envelopes. Super easy and super fun. Oh, 
Okay, so I've decorated them with scraps and bits and bobs, so I just need to finish them off now. <laughs> this is actually really quite fun because you could just literally make a heap of them and then just sit decorating. Um, I mean, I am quite well prepared, I've got to say, because not only do I have my box of shame, I have my box of fuzzy cuts, I'm a bit of a nutter. <laughs> um, so I've got one, if you're new to my channel, I've got one here with animals, which is, let's face it, mostly butterflies. And then this is what I call my oddment, so it's got all my, oh, I nearly dropped it all in, little numbers and little tickets and little adverts and all sorts of stuff. And it's like... I've spent I don't know how many hours doing these and every now and again I'll sit and I'll do some more and it's the best time, the best investment of time I've spent doing my journaling because I go to them all of the time and now they're done, when I'm doing things like this I can just sit and pick stuff out and uh, add them on, you know, um, I'm never stuck. I love these little tickets. Right, so now I can, I'm... I'm I'm going to use some of this glue. Just slide that under there. I love these little labels. Uh, what else? I like this one. No, not today. Not today, Mrs. I like that one. Not today. I don't want to cover up all of that green, I don't think. So let's have a look what we've got here. I've got little numbers. I'm going to pick out some butterflies, obviously. Um, now these ones are great because I, all I did was stamp them on book page and print them out. Um, I mean punch them out with my punches. So I could use those, then I'm sticking true to my scraps, using up your scraps, because I made those out of scraps. And these ones are made out of map. Um, that's a different butterfly punch, that. Where's that? That's a completely different... That's not that one. Don't know, maybe I got rid of it. Right, so those are my butterflies then. I'll double layer them. Why not? Because we can make some more. So we'll double layer those. Let's just get these done and then so I'm just gluing them just in the middle and then you can lift those wings up and anybody that says they haven't got a butterfly punch, I mean stamp, well I don't know, you must have, if not I don't know. I'd send you one if I had a spare. <laughs> but, you know, as you can see, I need them. Um, this is my favourite butterfly of all time. It's a long, long retired stamping up one called Papillon. Something or other. What was it called? Uh, Papillon. Potpourri, I don't know why it's called potpourri, but there you go. Right, lift those wings up. Another one here. I mean, you can, you know, layer up even more with your oddments if you want. Um, I might add some more off camera, but I think it's going to be a long video. So you'll get this uploaded Sunday, and I will come and I will do these. Um, box of shame videos on a Sunday so make sure you're subscribed um, make sure you hit the notification bell really super important because YouTube mess about with that all of the time so it's really important you double check it else you'll miss out um, and not just my channel other people that you really enjoy make sure you check that notification bell regularly because YouTube are very naughty I don't know if they do it on purpose or or what? So once I've done this, I'm going to add some, find some nice words. Now the words were kindly given to us and are again in the files on my group, Create with Scrimpy Mummy, and they were created by my admin, Karen McClure. 
my very long time crafty friend and she's done them in several different formats I like the black and white ones because that's just what I like but she's done them in other colours as well so there's something for everybody so we, I'm going to try and add some kind of item for free on my group every week what it will be I don't know um, I don't know Depends how experienced to get, doesn't it? And how good I get at uh, <laughs> doing my digitals. Right, so let me just grab my words. Which just happened to be over the other side of the room because I was using them earlier. Um, so yeah, so these are on the group. And you can just cut them. Print them. I print them on cardstock now. I used to print them on paper and then I found I was backing them on my book page. So, may as well just uh, print them out on card. This is just thin, cheap card from the range. Right, let's have a look. What have we got? Let's have the... I mean, they're pretty standard words. They're nothing... Uh, you know, the 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 standard dream, create, inspire, share. Just nice, gentle. You don't, don't have to be, you know... You don't have to be Lord Byron when you're doing your crafting. These words are perfect and uh, thank you to Karen. I actually have used these loads since she made them. You could cut them all out at once but I'd ra I prefer to see them on the sheet so I can see all the words rather than cut them out and then have to sift through so, uh, either a bag or a box looking for them. I'd rather have them like this and then cut which one I want, literally at the time. So I've got that one. What's that, sir? Create. What's this one? Dream. Dreams. What else shall we have? Let's have kindness. We need a bit more of that. Scatter it around. Right, just get off there. Okay. And again, it don't matter if you don't cut them perfect. I think when you're doing your journaling, if some things are a bit rough and ready, it just adds to it, doesn't it? It just, it's like, yeah, it's part of the, part of the ride, as it were. I'm having that one there. Okay, let's just see if we can just bob it underneath that butterfly wing there. Hopefully my big head's not in the shot. And uh, I've been dyeing my hair today, so that is, I can't even say that's distressing. I've dyed my hair red. <laughs> or I've re-dyed it red, I should say. Right, so there we go, kindness. How pretty is that? Completely and utterly out of scraps. And... Uh, you know, die cuts that I've hoarded. So nothing's been specifically made for these projects. It's just what I've already got. I'm shopping my stash using what I've got. Okay, I've not had to print nothing. These were already printed. What have we got? Will that fit there? Create. Quite like it there. Which words short or create our dreams? The same out there. <laughs> exactly the same. Exactly the same. Right. So, we're having dreams. That one's in that bottom corner and it looks nice. So, why uh, try and look for what different ways? If it works, just repeat it. And that works. It looks nice. It's not straight light, but there you go. Where's that word gone? Hi, sir. So when they said envelopes on the group, I was like, I rolled my eyes a bit and I was like, oh, that's a bit boring. But do you know what? These have turned out really nice. I'm really chuffed. So I think it was actually Karen herself and was it Lynn? Um... Lynn, oh gosh, I can't remember everybody's surnames, there's that many folk. But Lynn Lynn, who sent me the um, 
the wooden cradle battling <laughs> suggested envelopes so I think those are really nice um, so yeah go and see what you've got in your scrap boxes in your box of shame and your die cuts and your punches and uh, go and create some little mini envelopes don't forget I'll leave you the uh, I will leave you the template I'll figure it out all right thanks for watching hope that's useful I hope you'll uh, make some of those and have some great fun decorating them. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.